Maynard, you're a musician, a performer. You uh, won a Grammy nomination for Going to Fly Now from Rocky. You just completed music from Rocky II, I understand, right. which is dynamite. What, what level of musicianship do you really expect to see out here tonight? Uh, I expect it to be terrific, and I'm uh, looking forward to being entertained here uh, tonight because, of course, I don't get to see this as often as uh, Steve uh, does, and, uh, and uh, it should be very exciting, and I'm also very thrilled to be working with both of you guys. It's our treat. Is, is, uh, is drum corps showbiz? It's very much showbiz, but it's also a, uh, an art form. Uh, it's uh, also uh, the fact that the up-leveling of the music uh, within it has been tremendous in the last few years. Maynard, uh, you, were, uh, you were in a group called the Black Watch at one time, weren't you? That's right. That's where I did my first real marching, and uh, I was part of the Black Watch Regimental uh, uh, Kilties Band, except that uh, uh, I was the mascot. I was about 11 years of age, and I, had, I did all the marches and all the concerts with them, however. Do you feel it has helped you? Oh, very much so. I tell you, the breathing that you have to go through in, in marching and playing, I think, was invaluable to me. It's a, great, it's a great thing for any wind instrument player to get into. You know, I heard that Maynard uh, wore a kilt when he did that. Any That's truth right. to that? That's very true. And uh, when you consider it's Montreal, Canada, it's 20 to 30 below zero in February, and you march anyway. Oh. <laughs> and, How does uh, it feel to have 128 people coming towards you playing your music? It's very thrilling. It really is. Uh, last year, uh, I watched the uh, finals on television. And uh, it was a thrilling thing then, and it's a thrilling thing again tonight. Are you critical when you hear it played? No, uh, no, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, uh, to the uh, uh, trumpet playing of one particular chap uh, uh, very much simply because uh, he plays my exact solo from a particular thing and that we'll allow somebody else to introduce a little later on. But uh, very exciting trumpet player. going straight for you, Maynard. Uh, I just loved it, too, and uh, he had all that fire, and he let it all hang out, and uh, uh, that means when you really fill up that horn and you really point it out there, there's two ways you do it. Uh, you, you, fill it uh, you fill it up, and you take chances in terms of creating all that fire of the instrument, or else you just back down a little bit and, and play it careful. The guy's a very brave uh, performer and a very courageous one, and uh, uh, I enjoyed all of the soloists there very much, all the brass soloists. That's a good choice of words because... You know, there he is in a big stadium without the aid of any amplification at all. And I was going to mention that, too. He's there with an execution judge real close by on the field and one up top. And you know yourself how hard it is to control yourself up in that range when you're extended and not crack, not blow an attack or anything. And they're subjected to the same rigid judging standards that anyone else is. So it uh, really is a... Very, very intense. Yeah, very, a very thrilling performance. I enjoyed it very much. And uh, uh, I just think that uh, considering that they're not allowed to use monitors and all the things that help us hear the overtone series uh, uh, when we're going into the upper register of any horn, uh, th uh, that's great. He's out, uh, out there with the dampness and, uh, and uh, as you say, no direct uh, close microphone or anything uh, connected with it. And Maynard Ferguson sitting watching him. I think he was doing an audition personally. I think Maynard. he made it. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that blew me away was the rifle line. I never realized they had a rifle line Ooh. like that. Some great effects out of that group. Very what exciting. Is, what is the difference between uh, the horn that you play and the horns that we're seeing out here? Well, uh, do you want to take a look at that? Because I have okay. one that uh, uh, I've been looking at, and uh, Steve uh, is going to also uh, give me a trumpet lesson here, or a bugle lesson. Excuse me, there I go again. I can see giving you a trumpet lesson. Right. Well, I tell you what, there's uh, Steve. If you'll tell me why uh, we have two valves on yours, I'll tell you why we have three valves on mine. I'll tell you, uh, this is a very, very new development the last couple of years in drum corps. In the old days, of course, the straight bugle. Then we went to the uh, one valve bugle that was horizontal. That's then right. We, then we added the rotary, which uh, gave us half tone flexibility. The one valve moved the tone a full step. Then we said, well, we got this here. Why don't we put two valves here and move them vertically? And there we go for greater flexibility. That's right. as far as we've gotten. If we're going to get this far, <laughs> I don't know. But they sure look a lot the same, don't they? Th they uh, look a lot the same and they sound a lot the same and uh, I think that's uh, that's beautiful and, and uh, it looks very far out to me to, to see two valves so you know that's five valves between uh, they sound very much the same uh, you want me to freak out the sound booth? I love it go ahead 
right? And then if we, uh, I'm not blowing this one. You're on your own. <laughs> Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> How come everybody's coming up here to the box? <laughs> we, we've got such a crowd that just gathered. We got flash bulbs going off. People are cheering. Maynard, I want to know uh, why you've got this bruise on your finger from uh, trying to push down this valve. I know. I, I, it's just it's in there. Well, okay, I'm going to have to pull my mic down. <laughs> Instincts. Yeah, actually, uh, it is a fascinating thing to hold the horn because I'm not used to that very much. But uh, however, uh, it's a fascinating instrument. I'd like to have one. The Z. So There's the youngest one of them all right there. He'll probably be out there in a couple of years just honking and wailing out. <laughs> look at, that. Hey, look at that. that. Way to go. What uh, style is that, Maynard? European or? Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say that's Concord all the way. Man. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget, folks, the album is called Hot and the single is called Rocky II Disco. <laughs>